In DeFi, a lot of projects guarantee the world to their investors. They do say they're gonna have future revenue sources, future utility, but sometimes things go sideways. Now, in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at Alpha Shares. They already have a planned utility for their token, as well as a revenue source right off the get-go. So we're gonna dive into all of the details you need to know before this one launches. So stay tuned and enjoy the video. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Eric here and welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a great day and are doing well. Today we're talking about Alpha Shares. It's a brand new project. It's actually going to be launching tomorrow, August 16th, where people can actually go and buy one of these NFTs to participate in their project. Now, before we get into how to get involved, we need to talk about what AlphaShares is. And if we go on over to alphashares.io, this is the page we are greeted with. And essentially what AlphaShares is, it's an NFT marketplace that is going to be owned by the community. And it's also going to be a multi-chain NFT marketplace. Now, the way people are actually going to be rewarded for buying one of these NFTs is that every time there is going to be a trade made on AlphaShares NFT marketplace, there is a small fee that is collected and half of that fee is actually going to go back to the NFT holders of this marketplace. Now, I'm going to dive into more details in a second here, but if we just take an overview of an NFT marketplace and we talk about, let's say, OpenSea, I'm sure you guys have heard of OpenSea and the amount of money they generate in terms of volume on a daily basis is just absolutely insane. There's a whole lot of NFTs that are being transferred, bought, sold on OpenSea and they are basically collecting a fee every time there is a transaction that is done on their platform. So here, if we take a look at the white paper of AlphaShares, we have a very quick graph of the daily volume on OpenSea, and this is only on Ethereum, so just take note of that. We have obviously a massive amount of volume during the bull market, ranging from anywhere from 100 million all the way to even more than 200 million on a daily basis, which is just absolutely crazy. And of course, since we're in a bear market, it's probably around 25 5 million to 50 million on a daily basis now, but this is still a crazy amount of volume that is going on OpenSea. So to give you guys a better understanding of what happens when you buy an NFT on OpenSea, if we take a look at this random NFT worth about $436, if we take a look at a recent sale transaction of this specific NFT, we can see that about $14 was sent to the OpenSea fees, and this is basically that 2.5% they charge for every single transaction. Now, this is exactly what AlphaShares is going to be doing. They're also going to be charging a 2.5% transaction fee on all of the trades that are happening on their NFT marketplace. Now, here is where things get super interesting because we as investors can actually decide to invest in an NFT and collect a portion of those transaction fees. And as we take a look at this diagram, we have 50% of the transaction fees, which are basically 2.5%. So if we divide that by two, we're going to be getting 1.25% of the transaction fees that are actually going to be given back in terms of rewards to the NFT holders of this platform. Now, there's also going to be a 20% of these transaction fees that go into a single staking pool. And if you stake the alpha token, which is their native token for alpha shares, you're actually going to get paid out in AVAX. And there's also another 30% of those transaction fees that are going to the treasury in order to continue building this protocol. Now, before we get into the details of how this is going to work, we need to talk about the NFTs and the different tiers that you can actually purchase if you want to get involved with this ecosystem. 
So the first thing we need to know is that there are going to be 10,000 NFTs, both combined with Genesis and base. And as we see here, we have the different tiers. We have the alpha, which is the base token or the base NFT. Then we have the lone wolf. We have the Ronin wolf, and we also have the apex wolf. Now these three here are actually the Genesis NFTs and that auction is ending today. And the way to participate in that, if you want to, if you go back onto alphashares.io and you go to the Genesis auction, you can actually try to mint one of these NFTs. Of course, it is an auction. And right now, the lowest tier is actually going for 20 AVAX. Then it bumps up to 40 AVAX. And the Apex is upwards of 100 AVAX, which is absolutely absurd. So if you have any money, you can definitely go ahead and check those out. But if we go back to that base NFT, the Alpha Wolf NFT, that is going to cost you 100 billion tokens or 100 billion Alpha tokens to purchase one of these NFTs. Now, if we take a look at the rewards per NFT class, if we take a look at the Alpha Wolf, which is your base NFT that most people are gonna have, we can see it's going to generate 333 million tokens per day. And if you were to get an Apex NFT, again, these are all Genesis and there's only about 10 Apex Wolves available. There's 47 Ronin Wolves available and then 100 Lone Wolves available. So a very limited supply for for these Genesis NFTs. But all that to say that if you were to get this Apex Wolf, you could be getting 6 billion tokens per day. And these are all alpha tokens. And if we take a look at the price of one of these alpha tokens, right now we're sitting at a bunch of zeros, 2411. And of course, this is because they have a quadrillion token supply. And I actually talked to one of the founders of this project. And he said that looking back at this, they wish they wouldn't have done as big of a supply. So it would be a lot easier for people to understand. And we wouldn't be talking about billions and billions of tokens. Now, if I give you guys a bit of history about this project, they actually launched in February as alpha nodes. This was when the entire node ecosystem was going crazy and a lot of money was to be made with nodes. Now, they were always saying that their node phase was always going to be some sort of a seeding phase in order to accumulate a treasury to then go ahead and build out this NFT marketplace, which they are now doing. So the team has definitely stuck to their word. Now, if we go back and we talk about the alpha share marketplace and we take the perspective of an NFT holder, if we have a look at this flow chart, obviously there is going to be a 2.5% transaction fee that happens on each and every single one of these trades. So if there isn't a lot of volume and not many NFTs are traded on the alpha share NFT marketplace, well, we can understand that the fees that they are gonna collect are not gonna be that big. But on the flip side of things, if they have a decent amount of volume, well, we can obviously understand that this 2.5% transaction fee is going to amount to a lot of money. Now, again, taking the perspective of an NFT holder, 50% of those transaction fees are actually going to be used to purchase the alpha token in the open market. This is going to be done automatically. So they are utilizing smart contracts to do this. And once that is done, they have alpha token because they just purchased it. This is going to be sent to an NFT staking pool, which is where all of the NFT holders are going to benefit from this platform because they're going to be receiving that alpha that was bought by the transaction fees of their NFT marketplace. So this is super interesting because right off the bat, we have a revenue source, we have utility for the alpha token because you're using the alpha token to purchase one of these NFTs. Again, if you want to participate in it, and then you are also getting rewarded in alpha, but it all comes from the transaction fees that are actually being generated from this NFT marketplace. Now, going back to this graph, if you don't necessarily want to buy one of these NFTs, 
you can go ahead and decide to participate in their alpha token single staking pool, which is essentially going to be getting 20% of those transaction fees. So there are different ways to participate in this ecosystem. In my opinion, I'm probably going to go ahead and buy one of these NFTs. And I'm also going to be doing a giveaway of one of these NFTs. So if we take a look at how much one alpha wolf NFT is worth, as we know, we are going to need a hundred billion alpha tokens to purchase one of these. And we take a look at how much 100 billion alpha shares is worth in terms of USD we can see that one NFT is basically worth about $236. Now, as we know, this is going to generate 333 million tokens per day. And if we take a look at how much money that is in terms of US dollars on a daily basis, we can see that this is about 80 cents. Now, you have to keep in mind that to buy one of these NFTs, you are going to need 100 billion alpha tokens, which is basically going to force people to use alpha. And this is giving a utility to alpha as well. Now, something else you can't forget is that the volume on this NFT marketplace is also going to contribute into the buy of this alpha token in the open market because every time there is a transaction on this ecosystem or on the NFT marketplace, a portion of those transaction fees are actually going directly to buy alpha tokens. So we can see that there is a lot of utility. There's actually a revenue source that's built in the alpha token in order to continue making this price go up and that is just awesome in my opinion now they also plan on being multi-chain so imagine having one spot for nfts people come here type in their collection whether or not it's on ethereum whether or not it's on solana or polygon it doesn't matter it's all going to be a one-stop shop for nfts that is their goal and imagine all of the transaction fees that are happening Ross chain and then being sent back to AVAX because this is natively on AVAX using those fees to then buy the alpha token and continue growing this ecosystem. So the multi-chain aspect of this NFT marketplace is huge in my opinion. So if you are interested in this project, they are actually doing their public mint tomorrow, August 16th at 4.01 PM Eastern time. And the way they are doing this public mint is that they are doing 1000 nfts per week until it is sold out so let's say it launches tomorrow and by 5 p.m the thousand nfts are sold out well people are gonna have to wait in the next week in order to mint a new nft so there are a total of 10,000 NFTs, but 147 of those are Genesis NFTs and the rest are going to be Alpha Wolf NFTs. So it is going to cost 100 billion Alpha tokens or about 236 US dollars at the time of me recording this. Also a 0.5 AVAX, which is about $14 right now, and then a bit of gas fee as well. So that is an overview of Alpha Shares and their NFT marketplace. They are rewarding their NFT holders with the trading fees of their marketplace. Awesome stuff. Brilliant idea in my opinion. It's the first NFT marketplace that is actually going to be community focused and it's actually rewarding people for investing in this project and it has a full-on revenue source as soon as this happens and it has a utility for their Alpha a token now in the future they also plan on having a dex and they also plan on having a launch pad so those are going to be other aspects of this community and this ecosystem which are basically just going to continue evolving this ecosystem as well as providing more revenue sources for people who are invested in alpha shares so with all of that being said as i said it is not financial advice I am personally investing in this one, not a recommendation whatsoever, but if you enjoyed the video, definitely smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, join their socials, join their discord, follow them on Twitter for all of the news you need to know. But with all of that being said, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.